Hello guys, today we will discuss about the input and output functions in C language and their types. C language provides us with inbuilt input output functions that are used to read any data provided by the user or available in any file and to write any data generated by the program to the output screen or in any file. There are two types of input output functions available, unformatted type and formatted type. First, we will discuss about the unformatted type functions. These are getCare, putCare, getS and putS. Actually, getCare and putCare are not functions but are macros. The similarity between a macro and a function is that both are a fragment of code that is given a name. The difference lies in declaring them and the way they are built while running the program. I'm not going to explain them because they are not in the scope of this video, but they'll be explained later. There are two formatted type functions, printf and scanf. Printf is the most commonly used output function. In the same way, scanf is the most commonly used input function. Printf is used to print character, string, float, decimal, etc. to the output screen. In the same way, scanf is used to input character, string, float, decimal, etc. from the user and stores it at the address of some variable. We'll do a program now, but before that, let's learn about format specifiers or placeholders and escape sequences. These will be used in printf and scanf functions. Format specifiers are characters used after the person sign. They specify how a variable will be read. If you remember, we used percent %d in printf that was used for decimal integer. Similarly, there are many other placeholders available like percent %c for characters, percent %s for string, etc. Format specifiers are used in both scanf and printf functions. Escape sequences are used only in printf. It allows new line, tab, semicolon and other characters to be inserted. Like backslash A is used for an audible alert if you have speakers. Backslash B is used for backspace. Backslash R is used for carriage return. It means it moves the cursor to the beginning of the line. You can check rest of the escape sequences by yourself. In Turbo C, if you open help, index, and then type get care and press enter it will give you all the information about get care and put care get care is a macro that gets a character from stdin or the keyboard put care is a macro that outputs a character on std out or the key uh, or the monitor this is how it is declared and if you want you can check the examples now go back and type get s and enter it will give you all the information on get s and put s get s gets a string from stdin or the keyboard and put s outputs a string to std out or the monitor this is how it is declared and you can check the examples let's code now this was the program for adding two numbers we used variables so that the computer can do the calculation part for us. Now, what if I want to give this program to one of my friends? He or she will have to change the values of variables for adding some other numbers. But I don't want that. I want my program to be user friendly. It should ask the user to give two integers and then my program will add them. So for that, let's prompt the user to give an integer. But before that, let's remove these hard-coded numbers. Then let's add another printf statement. Then I want here a tab, so backslash t, a semicolon. Now I want the user to give me a number, so I will have to scan it, scan if.
okay the syntax of scanf is something like this first we give it the placeholder and then the address of that variable address is specified by this sign this is known as ampersand this will scan an integer which will be stored at the address of a then I will ask the user for another integer again tab now I will store this integer in B at the address of B then the program will add A and B and print it. Let's run it now. Okay, there are errors. Declaration is not allowed here. I'll have to remove it from here. And Now run it. It is ask me, asking me for an integer. Let's print 6. Then another integer. Let it be 10. Sum of 6 and 10 and 16. Our program is running. This is the exercise for this video. You have to update your program which calculates the average of 5 numbers and make it more user friendly. You can also try making more programs which uses other format specifiers and escape sequences. You can ask your doubts and share your programs in the comments.